A very good morning, everyone. This is uh, hi. This is Jinnal. I lead the uh, community and outreach efforts at Grab. All right. So I think uh, today's presentation we want to show how Grab and you know Hot OSM in Indonesia have been collaborating and doing different activities across Southeast Asia for different things. So before we jump into that, I think all of us know, and I think everyone in the world, yeah, disasters and, you know, it goes hand in hand. But, you know, a little about Southeast Asia. So it sort of forms that 10.5% of Asia, it's one third of the population, and it has a lot of, I mean, you know, humanity, like a lot of human resources and everything around it, and it forms a big part. So what can we do to prevent that? And before all of that, I think something that's super important to Grab is that Grab started around six years ago. And the most important thing for us was to make you know, transportation safer for everyone in Southeast Asia, building our, our, I mean, our products for the need of the community, and then making it accessible for everyone. And thus, like Southeast Asia and people of Southeast Asia are super important to Grab. And we try to like work around with all the humanitarian efforts during all of these disasters and everything so that we can you know help the community to uh, go through it so as i say we can't get rid of these natural disasters because that's something that's not in our hands but something that we can do is prepare for it so wondering how we can do that is through community. So like Grab has a lot of, I mean, it has a huge community of drivers. So something that we at Grab do is also tell drivers about, we have sessions and mapathons where we teach drivers about mapping an OSM, how they can help, what we do during the disasters, how they can contribute and make, or you know, do little what they can for the community. And then building a community of mappers. I feel that we have a younger generation who, does have access to one of the most important thing that's technology so how we at grab and everyone else around us can help us work around it and there's something that we've started is called the geostars geostars is a university program where we work with the universities and teach them about open street map teach them about hot osm or you know tasking manager and how they can work at, or work along with everybody to help during disasters and this is basically how the curriculum works it's got like, we have the universities who can register, we select few students, we try to have a very small crowd because then we can give them individual attention and work along and teach them the basics of everything. And then we start off with brief briefing and then there's leadership training and OSM. So we teach us like how to create content, how do they validate that, how to create good quality data, and then we have a lot of workshops where we invite the folks from the OpenStreetMap community to teach them about good practices and different things and give that community exposure, which otherwise it's hard to get. And then we also ask them to lead these activities. So they themselves empower them to like train the others, like training the trainers. And then we also tell them about, you know, how can they share these with the broader community so that there are more people who are learning about it. There are more people who know that this is happening. And then there's always some incentive. So we do award the best performers. Each of them have some points and everything they do has something to get. And then, you know, the best one wins or gets rewarded and everyone else also is there. So these are basically the whole start, like the whole process of Geostars and hoping that this particular program builds more people and gets more people involved in different community activities. And these are a few pictures of the geostars that we've done across Southeast Asia. There are, it's in Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore. And so I think we are closely working with the hot open street map community in Indonesia. And uh, we recently will be doing a combined effort for the uni battle mapping, where we are in these five universities. We have two universities battling against each other for working through these different aspects of who's scoring better and who's not. But in the end, whoever is like winning, uh, it's the community that's winning and everyone who knows more about what open street map is doing and what are the different things that they can do to mitigate like disasters and everything around that. And these are, this is a picture from the last year's uni battle mapping. And the other thing is mapathons. So like all of these come down to mapathons and we at Grab have been doing a lot of these mapathons. One, to get all the community folks together. Two, to like during natural disasters, if we can, very little, we have our team members and 
community folks and you know maybe through mapping parties or maybe through you know just providing the space we get together and map for different attributes and these are a few photographs from that and then i would uh, so one such instance was during the Kerala flood that happened last year where a, a, a good part of our team actually jumped through the day and we were mapping and helping folks uh, so that we could help. Uh, a lot of us do come from India and, and we, it was a great way for us to like contribute back to the community. And now I want uh, Yantisa to come down and share something more about how we're working with them yeah. in Indonesia. Okay. Thank you. This is basically like uh, how the data can also be used in disaster management perspective. This is one of our first collaboration in how to involve Grab Driver to collect data on emergency response. On this case, uh, this is for uh, Mount Agung eruption in Bali, in how uh, the Grab Driver was trained to do data collection using smartphone, using a simple apps, so then they can collect where are the IDP camps because they're local. They really understand on how to get there. Then the information can also fit fit in into OSM and then understanding a, a better disaster, uh, disaster emergency, uh, emergency response routing as well as understanding the logistic needs for each of the uh, refugee uh, uh, IDP camp. And then this is a bit of statistic about the uh, mapathon that uh, we've done. So uh, hopefully we can continue on the discussion after the event. Thank you very much.